Hello everyone, welcome to Fresh Look Friday. I'm Miss Jackie at the Lake Villa District Library, and in this video I have some brand new books to show you for kids' birth through lower elementary. Now these books are gonna be great for any age. I thoroughly enjoyed all of the books this time. I even brought them home to my kids and they loved reading them and looking at all of the beautiful pictures. So the first book I wanna show you is this large book here. It's called Life Size Animals and Illustrated Safari. So I bet you're wondering how they fit life size animals in this book. It is a big book, but still some animals are pretty big. Well, let me show you. This is written by Rita Mabel Schiavo and it's illustrated by Isabella Grott. So the first picture I wanna show you is right here. Why do you think that is? Well, that is an elephant. So here's the elephant's eye and the side of the elephant's face. So in this book, you're just gonna see bits of the life-size animal, but it's also going to show you other things. Let me show you another page. These are teeth, life-size pictures of, or illustrations of teeth. And this one right here, for instance, says it's from a white shark, a great white shark. And look how big that is, 2.7 inches. So what do you think my next page is going to be? This is my favorite page in the whole book. But here we go, are you ready? <laughs> look at that, it's a great white shark. You see his eye right there and his sharp teeth, look how big they are. So that would be, a life-size shark, but just shows you a portion of it, because that's all they could fit in the book. <laughs> I want to show you one more picture. However, if you are at all squeamish of spiders, you might want to avert your eyes for just a minute. Let me find the right page here. Okay. So this one is called the Goliath bird-eating tarantula. Look how huge that is. That is a life-size illustration right there. I think if I saw that, I would be running out the door. Look at that, isn't that neat? There's so many fun pictures in this book to look at. So life-size animals and illustrated safari. And next I have a red dot book or a picture book. This one is called, There's an Alien in Your Book by Tom Fletcher and it's illustrated by Greg Abbott. This is super fun. It's an interactive picture book and it's about a little alien that crash lands on our planet. Let me show you a few pictures out of this book. So here he is. It says, oh no, a, sh a spaceship has crash landed oh, in your book. <laughs> and then it shows him getting out of his spaceship and you can't quite see him. There's a lot of smoke in the way. So it says blow the smoke away and then turn the page. You have to blow the smoke and then turn the page. Ah, it's an alien! <laughs> so each page has you doing something to help this little alien find home again. <laughs> so much fun. The next book I have is called Fiery Night, A Boy, His Goat, and the Great Chicago Fire. Now this book is really fun because it's in the perspective of this young boy, his name is Justin, and he lived back in the 1800s. And this was his goat, Willie. Now this takes place in October of 1871 when the Great Chicago Fire broke out and he is trying to go to safety with his little goat. The pictures in this are gorgeous. Let me show you some examples. Look at that, you can see the fire spreading, everybody up on their housetops looking. Let me show you one more. Here's a picture of Justin and his little goat. He's taking care of him, kind of trying to keep him wet in the water so he doesn't get burned. But this does have a good ending for Justin and Willie. But this is just a beautiful book to read. 
Oh, it's written by Sally M. Walker, and the pictures are by Kayla Heron. Okay, I know we have a lot of fun take and makes here at the library for you guys to pick up, but if that just isn't enough, I have a brand new book to show you that will give you tons of ideas. This is called Art Play, and it's by Meredith McGee Donnelly. So this book is just filled with fun art projects for the kids. I'm going to show you my favorite. <clears throat> this one is called Super Kid Cape, and it's a very easy project. You just need an adult-sized t-shirt. You cut off the sleeves and you cut around the neck, and then you can decorate it with Sharpies or whatever art supplies you have at home. And you got a fun little cape to play with. So if you're looking for something to do, to do, this is a great book to check out. The last book I have is probably my favorite out of all of these. This one is called Snowbirds and it's written by Kirsten Hall and the pictures are by Jenny Desmond. Now we all know that birds migrate south for the winter to stay warm, but what about all of the birds that stay behind, that stay with us in the dark and the cold? This is kind of an ode to these pretty birds. This is a book of poetry, and the illustrations in here are super fun and gorgeous to look at. I'm going to show you one of these. There's so many, I don't know which one to choose. Here's one called Great Gray Owl. Isn't that beautiful? And it just has a short little poem. Let me show you one more. I think this one's my favorite bird. It's called the Northern Cardinal. I love seeing glimpses of these outside in my trees. They're so magical. But here's a little poem about this bird. And then at the end, there's a page called, or some pages called Meet the Birds. And this gives you some fun facts and information about the birds that stay with us and delight us with their song. So snowbirds. <laughs> So if you are interested in any of these books, I have the titles and the call number listed in the description box below. Also give us a call and we'd be very happy to put them on hold for you. Even if you don't have a particular title in mind, give us a call and tell us what you'd like. We'll grab some books for you and you can pick them up curbside. Also, if you're interested in learning what's going on with programming, check out our website at lvdl.org. We do have a lot of fun programming going on now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.